أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته hope you all must be doing good let's start today's class with prayers so uh, co-host can I have a student on mic please Assalamualaikum uh, G220. Waalaikum Assalam Rahmatullah G220. Assalamualaikum G220. G220. Waalaikum Assalam Rahmatullah. How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. She better start with Taufus. Okay. I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the rejected. Why we recite Taos before reciting Quran? Allah tells us in chapter 16 verse 99 And when thou recites Quran, seek refuge with Allah from Satan the rejected. Bismillah. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Reciting Bismillah before every deed invokes the blessings of Allah upon that deed. It is sunnah to recite it before every good deed. Good is prayer. Okay. Rab بِعَلِّمْنِي مَا هُوَ خَيْرٌ عِنْدَكَ O oh my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your knowledge. Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Mahmud of Qadiyan, the promised Messiah and Mahdi alayhi salam, had many dreams, visions and revelations. These are collected together in Tazkara. The above dua can be found in Tazkara. Jazakallah G220. Jazakallah very well recited. Uh -huh. Mashallah. So let's remind ourselves with the class etiquettes. Uh, I'm expecting that you all must be doing this. So evolution, wearing clean clothes, uh, head must be covered, try to arrive early, sit in a quiet place, parent must be present and use your correct ID. So correct ID is really important. Otherwise, we will be unable to take your to call you, know, you guys on mic okay so um now we have a quick look on the today's schedule so we have uh, assembly which we already did then we have a quiz then we will uh, practice or uh, recite a prayer from quran then we will practice a hard word then we will recite a commandment from Quran. Then, inshallah, we will conclude. So, it's last week of the, this course is going on. Today is the second last day. Tomorrow will be the last class of this uh, course. So, it's uh, really appreciated if you uh, fill out and submit the um, uh, feedback form. So I'm uh, humbly requesting from all the mothers or parents, please fill out this form and submit it. Jazakallah. So let's start uh, the quiz. So uh, as usual, uh, by now you must be familiarized with the quiz pattern. So we are doing to, uh, we are taking a quiz from the pause rules, which we have learned from last two weeks. So, uh, and we are covering from, uh, rule 1 to rule 11 and um, it's as usual that question will be displayed multiple choice answers would be in front of you you have to select one answer then remember to press the submit um, and uh, after a few seconds i will reveal the answer as well so um it's uh, really an, an anonymous quiz so don't be shy don't be um confused uh, just try uh, your best and uh, I, um, no one will be able to know that who is giving which answer so try to do by yourselves just to check where you stand okay so let's start so first question is um what is the correct pause here so here this is a word alimun 
if you have to pause over here there are four options please select your uh, option and submit it Okay, let's see what's the answer. So, correct answer is Aleem, the option one. So let's have the other question. So, oh, sorry. Yeah, so this is the rule number five. Here you can see that when a word is ending on double stroke or nation of kasratain or damatain, then the last letter will be, uh, and the this last sign will be changed with sakun. So uh, either way, if it's the kasratain or damatain, it will be changed into sakun. So um, next question is, how will you stop over here uh, on inverted dhamma? So, options are that you will change it into simple dhamma or you will change it into an uh, elongated thing, the normal elongation, or you will make it sakin or it will remain the same. the poll so um 60 percent has said option three uh 20 percent has selected option two and uh four percent uh sorry uh 20 percent has selected option four so um the correct answer is option three so 60 percent has selected that good job Let's check the answer as well. And so number three is the correct answer and it's rule seven. So you can see from here, rule seven, that inverted dhamma will be changed into sakun. Next question is, what is the correct pause over here? So if you have to uh, pause on double stroke of fatah, how will you pause over here? There are four options again. So select any one of them. Please response. I'm going to end the poll in few seconds. Okay, so 71% has selected option two. Good job. Let's check the answer. Yes, this uh, naf a is the correct way to uh, stop on um, fatatain. Good job. Um, and it refers at um, rule number nine, where you can see over here that the fatatain um, will be pronounced as um, normal elongation. 
Gee, so next question is, what is the correct pause over here when you have to pause, uh, you have to take pause on circular ta or ta marbuta? So they, again, there are four options. Select your correct, uh, your option. Yeah, I'm going to end the poll in a few seconds. Okay, so for this, 50% has selected option 4, 33% has selected option 3, and 17% uh, has selected option 2. So 50% has selected option 4. Let's check the answer. And... Answer is option four. So it's from rule eight. Here you can see for the reference that the circular ta will change into ha sakina. So whatever sign on this circular ta, if there is circular ta, it will be changed into ha sakina. Jazakala, 50% has answered correctly, mashallah. Okay, so what is the correct pause over here? on this um, vertical kasra under letter ha so again you have four options select your option I'm going to end the poll. So 40% um, has selected option 4, 40% has selected option 2, and 20% um, has selected option 1. So the right answer is option 4, and it refers to rule number 6. So, mashallah, 40% has uh, selected the right uh, option. And here you can see that the uh, vertical kasra or kasra ishpaya will change into sakun. Move on to next question. So, what is the correct pause over here when we have double stroke of kasra? So again, you have four options. so oh you guys are confused about this question 33 percent uh, have selected option two 33 percent has selected option three and 33 percent has selected option four let's see the answer so for this question uh, num uh, option number two is the correct answer and it refers to rule number four here you can see and i have told you previously when we did this uh, double stroke of dhamma the double stroke of kasra or tanween of kasra will be changed into sakun 
So there is the difference just for a double stroke of fata. For double stroke of kasra and dhamma, it will be changed into sakun. Okay, let's move on to next question. So next question is, what is the correct pause over here? So if um, uh, word is ending on vertical fata and followed by letter ya, how you will stop over there? And your time starts. Oops. I'm sorry. Gee, um, your time starts now. Okay, I'm ending the poll and unfortunately no one has selected the right answer. So let's see what the answer is and remind yourselves that when this vertical fata is followed by letter ya and most of the time this vertical fata is followed by letter ya, it will be pronounced as it is. Means we have to... Um, stretch it for two counts you can say that it will remain same or it will be changed into normal elongation because normal elongation and vertical fata can substitute each other and it's referred from rule 10 here you can see there will be no change in pronunciation and we can write it like at this so i think you got confused because of the writing pattern but uh, the, it will remain same. That there will be no change in pronunciation. It should be prolonged for two counts. Let's do the next question. What is the correct pause over here? So when a word is ending on chart roll the ma, how will you how will you stop over there? Let me. So. Your time starts now. Okay, so 60% has selected option 2 and 40% has selected option 3. 60% has selected option 2. Let's see the answer and 60% has selected correct answer. And it refers to rule number 3. All kind of short rolls will be changed into sakun. First three rules. Okay, let's move on to next question. What is the correct pause over here when... A uh, word is ending on a short roll of kasra. So your time starts. I'm sorry. There is some confusion in question numbers. Okay. Okay, so 80% has selected the option 4, which is correct. Good job. So again, um, let's move on to rule that uh, short roll of kasra 
would be changed into sukun. Right? Correct answer. 80% has attempted good. So what is the correct pause over here? Again, be mindful that word is ending on a short vowel of fatha. So your options are Yeah, your time starts now. Okay, so I'm ending the poll now and 20% uh, has selected option 2 and 80% has selected option 3. So 80% has selected the right option. Let's see. Yeah, so we will stop over here like making it suck in. It's the first rule. Right, move on to next question. Oh, very simple. Again, it's known with uh, fatta. So if you have to stop on this maftu noon, how will you stop? And your time starts. Okay, so I'm ending it because 100% has selected the correct answer. Good job. Uh, I'm not going into the de detail because all of you have selected the correct answer. So let's move on to next question. Okay, how will you stop over here? Again, it, it, the word is ending on a two letter. How will you stop over here? Select your option carefully. Okay, yeah, I'm ending it. Um, previously, you all selected the correct answer uh, option. What's uh, uh, what's confusing you, you right now? The same thing. The word is ending on a maftu letter. We need to change it with uh, sakun, right? No other change will be occur. So, fifty percent had selected uh, right option, the option number two. Let's see the correct option. Yeah, here. So it's again the rule number one. Fata will be changed into sakun. Move on to next question. So here we have vertical kasra underneath ya. So how will how will you stop over here? What is the correct way to pause over here? Um, and your time starts now. Okay, so 40% has selected option 4, 
forty percent has selected option three and twenty percent uh, uh, selected option one. So correct answer is option four. There is just an exception that if the vertical cluster is under the letter Ya, it will remain same. It will not be changed into Sukun. Okay, and this uh, is the rule number 11. Okay, move on to next question. So, how will you stop on this uh, circular ta? And your uh, time starts now. Okay, so 57% has selected the right answer, uh, a right option, which is number four. So remember, circular ta will be changed into a sakina, whatever the sign over there. So it refers rule number eight. We already did this in another question. Okay, move on to last question. Mm. Oh, and again, it's ending on a circular ta. So how will you stop over here? So, um, forty-three percent has selected option three. Forty-three percent has selected option two. I have just told you that uh, a circular ta always be changed into ha sakna. So, option two is the right option. And let's see the answer. Yeah. So, it refers rule number eight. So, every time if the word is ending on a circular ta, it will, it will be changed into ha sakna. Jazakmullah everyone, Jazakmullah for your participation. Okay, so let uh, move on to the next thing, which is the practice of prayer. Um, we are running short of time, so we will do quickly. G uh, co-host, Assalamualaikum. Can I have a, a student on mic, please? G247. Uh, G247, Assalamu alaikum, G247. G247. Assalamu alaikum, G247. Assalamualaikum. Alaikum Assalam. How are you doing today? Good. Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm good too. Jazakallah for asking. So we just start with Tawuz and Tasmiya once again because we took a break for a quiz. Uh, then we will um, recite this prayer. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Would you like to uh, recite by yourself or you want me to lead? Can I recite by myself, please? Sure, go ahead, please. Rabbana atina fit dunya hasanatam wa fil akiroti hasanatam wa kina azabannar. Our Lord. Grant us in this world, as well as good in the world, 
to come and protect us from the torment of the fire. Amen. So, Marshala, very well recited. But, Peter, can you see this um, extra elongation on this na? Yes. But this ahir? So, we are supposed to stretch it more than two counts, right? So, you give two counts to a, ah, but you you give uh, the same time to this na. So, read just first two words once again and stretch it for three to five counts. Rabbana atina. Good. Jazakallah, Jazakallah, G247. G co host, can I have another student on mic, please? G205. Assalamu alaikum, G205. Assalamu alaikum, G205. Are you there? Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. So, Beta, would you like to recite this by yourself or you want me to lead? Could I do it by myself? Sure. Go ahead, please. Should I do thousand plus mia? Uh, it's okay because we did once again. So, you can do just the prayer. Rob. Bana Atina Fidunya Hasina Hasa Wafil Okay, okay, so now look at these areas where this um, green alif it means that it's making normal elongation. Normal elongation means that when the blank alif is followed by a fatah bearing letter, then we need to prolong it for two counts. So, na, ya, na, za. So, these are making normal elongation and they must be stretched for two counts. And what do you know about this shadda letter, uh, shadda sign? How we are supposed to pronounce the mushadad letter? Do we press down on it? Yeah, we have to join the recent Mutaharik letter with this Mishadat letter and then we need to press on it. Very good. And one more thing. What do you know about the timing for this Madde Sagir? Three to five counts. Very good. So we are supposed to stretch it for three to five counts and this one should be for two counts. Jazakala G205, Jazakala for your help and your quick response and correct response, mashallah. G, can I have another student, please? Uh, G234. Assalamu alaikum, G234. Assalamu alaikum, G234. Can you please call someone else? G279. Assalamu alaikum, G279. Assalamu alaikum, G279. G288. Assalamu alaikum, G288. It seems you got tired after a quiz. G288. Okay, call someone else. G304. Assalamu alaikum, G304. No response. Please call someone else. 
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Who is there? G234. G234. How are, how are you doing, G234? Fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. So, would you like to recite by yourself or you want me to lead? Can I read, please? Huh? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Rabbana atina fin dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirat wa fil akhirat hasanatan wa wa kida azaban our lord grant us good in this world as well as good in the world to come and protect us from the torment of the fire i have a sister okay okay so uh stay on mic but uh, let's um i will do the hard work with your sister okay yeah Jazakallah G234. Well recited, mashallah. Okay, uh, so who is there now? G233. G233. Assalamu alaikum, G233. How are you doing today? I'm fine and you? <clears throat> Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. So we will practice this hard word. Not at hard okay. at all, just a little bit tricky. So you have to focus on this ayin sound, right? So let's yeah. start it. Yeah. So let's split it into uh, letters or portions and then we will do. Please start from here. You. You ba. Very, very good. You ba. Very good. You ba. Yeah. Ein sound. Very good. You. You ba. Yeah. Very good. Last time. Full word. Very good. G233. Very well done. Mashallah. Jazakallah for your help. G can I have a student? <coughs> Co host, can I have another student, please? Yeah. G2. G three zero six. Assalamualaikum. G three zero six. G three zero six. Are you there? Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. Okay, so let's do the same word. Um, start from here and go with uh, one by one. You. No, it's a short one, not stretch. You. Good. You ba. Very good. You ba ye. Very good. You ba ye na. Good. You ba ye na ka. Okay, don't make jerk over here. You buy naka yeah. Try to make it from your throat, but avoid the jerk. You buy naka. Very good. Jazakala G2. Oh, sorry, I forgot G3 to write G306. Jazakala for your help. Jazakala Vita. G, can I have another student on mic, please? G317. G317. Assalamu alaikum, G317. G beta, please unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. So, uh, did you find it hard? No. Very good. Let's practice one once again. So let's uh, split it into portions and then we will start. Okay. Read this one. You. Very good. You ba. You ba. 
ゆばいゆばいい Yeah, try to make ein from your throat. Yeah. Good, good effort. Now at the next. Hmm? Very good. Full word. Don't stretch the na. You buy naka. You buy naka. Very good. Good job, G. Sorry, I forgot about your ID. G317. G317. Jazakala G317. Jazakala for your help. Good, good job. Okay, so next we have commandment. Uh, G co host, can I have another student? G305. Assalamu alaikum, G305. G305 has no mic. Peter, uh, you have some uh, issue with your uh, audio settings. Please check it. Uh, call someone else. G205. G205. Assalamu alaikum. G205. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah for asking. Chibita, would you try to recite this commandment by yourself or you want me to lead? Can I do it by myself? Sure, go ahead. Should I do thousand tasmiya for this? No. Wasabi Biham the Rabbika once again was a B. Okay, so we have learned that we need to join with some force, and we when we join, we press on the uh, Mushadad letter. So was a B. Was a B. Good. Beham the Rabbika. Very good. And glorify thy Lord with his praise. Good. So it's a commandment. And Allah Ta'ala wants us to praise him. Jazakallah uh, G205. Well, uh, very well recited. G, can I have another student, please? G247. G247. Assalamu alaikum. G247. G279. G279. Assalamualaikum G279. G beta, please unmute yourself. Please call someone else. G G304. G three zero four. Assalamu alaikum. G three zero four. Give it a unmute yourself. Please call someone else. G two eight eight. Assalamu alaikum. G two eight eight. Assalamu alaikum. Assalam. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. First time uh, when I was trying to unmute myself, it was not unmuting. Oh, okay. Okay, sometimes that's happened. So, would you like to recite by yourself or you want me to lead? Yes, by myself. Okay, go. Uh, sure, go ahead. Fasa bihamdi var dira vasabi biham dira bika very good good effort but try to make this ha sound from your throat vasabi vasabi yeah continue biham dira bika 
Again, this ha, ha should be from your throat. Be hamdi. Be hamdi. Finish it. Rabbika. Translation. And glorify thy Lord with his praise. Chapter 50, verse 40. Mashallah. Jazakallah for your help. Jazakallah for your recitation. Uh, G247 is saying that we are unable to unmute. Okay, I'm going to unmute you. Uh, please come on mic. G247. Mm -hmm. G247. Sorry. Can you see the screen? Uh, Co-host, can you please tell me? That, are you able to see the screen? Yes. Okay. G247, please unmute. Try to unmute yourself now. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Gee, how are you doing? Good, Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. So, would you like to recite by yourself or you want me to lead? Can I recite by myself, please? Go ahead, please. What's up, bitch? Be hamdi rabbika. Good. And glorify thy Lord with his praise. Jazakallah, G247. Very well recited, mashallah. G, can I have another student? G279. Assalamu alaikum, G279. G279, please unmute yourself. Okay, call someone else, please. G304. G304, assalamu alaikum, G304. Okay, uh, he or she is not responding. So call someone else or call someone who raised their hands. G two 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 zero. G two two zero. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. G beta, would you like to recite by yourself or you want me to lead? Um, I'd like to recite by myself, please. Okay, go ahead, please. Was a be be ham the rabbika and glorify thy Lord with his praise. Surah 50, verse 40. Jazakallah, Jazakallah, very well recited, mashallah. G, can I have another student on mic, please? Mm. Mm. G288. G288, assalamu alaikum, G288. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Ji, beta, would you like to recite by yourself or you want me to lead? I already read. You want to do again or not? Again. Okay, go ahead, please. Vasa bi bi hamdi rabbika. Very good. So, here we have some highlighted areas. So, uh, can you explain this pink highlighted area? There's a shadda there. Yes. So how we are supposed to join with Mushadat letter? Um like sub B. Yeah. First we have to join and then we have to press on it because Mushadat letter is indicating that there we need to pronounce bar twice. Here the ba is Mushadat, so we need to ba pronounce bar twice. First we will join sub then we will go for kasra sub b so that's why we need to press on it right yes, but yes. for for sakun we have to do softly we are not going to press on the second letter although it's joining again b but we are not pressing it on because it's just once right yes. again this again rabika explain it the highlighted area 
same like sub B, but yeah. you have to press on the bar because there's a shadda. Very good. Jazakallah. And write about this green highlighted area. Hi. We, we say it softly. Yeah, we have to join it, but with a soft sound, we no need to press on them. Hum. Right. Jazakallah G288. Jazakallah for your help. So it's time to conclude the class. I have, it's, uh, I'm sharing the, um, and the link for feedback again. Please. It's my humble request. Please fill it out and submit it. Uh, it's not the lengthy one, just six, seven questions. Uh, we need your feedback because tomorrow is the last class of this course. Okay, let's conclude the uh, class with prayer. Uh, Co-host, can I have another student on mic, please? G three zero six. Assalamu alaikum. G three zero six. G three zero six. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. G madam, please recite the prayer. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al Azim. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran, the Great. I mean, okay, do one more time with me. Okay, so we will press on Lam and then we will go up for two counts because it's a vertical fatah. And then we will press on Meme and then make a nasal sound as well, right? Stay on Meme for two counts. Allahumma arhamni Allahumma arhamni Bil Quran al Azim Bil Quran al Azim I mean, uh, say the translation once again. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran, the Great. Jazakallah everyone, Jazakallah for joining See you tomorrow Inshallah, tomorrow is the last class Please attend that class Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh